Good morning, you awakening wonders. I am going to talk about our soul today. We, if my eyes look puffy, if my hair looks messy, that's because I was just meditating. And I wanted to talk about our soul going to sleep. When we go to sleep at night, and if you could imagine our soul going to sleep, because nothing's happening, your autonomic nervous system needs to just repair and rest your body and do things. And, you know, your subconscious mind will take over, you'll go down into theta, and then you'll go down into delta. And imagination takes place and things happen and you dream or some people don't dream, but things are happening. And your soul goes to sleep. Because everything is happening automatically. Imagine you wake up. And every day, you do the exact same thing. You wake up, you grab your phone, check your likes, you check your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything else. And you look at what's happening in the world and you stress yourself out. You know, certain politicians, certain wars, certain things, and then you start to feel the same emotions, the same worries, the same, well, what does that mean for me and my stocks? And what does that mean for my retirement? Or what is the economy doing? How does that impact me? And then you just wake up with that thought. And let's say that happens every morning. As you go make your coffee and you go to the toilet and you go to the shower and you look at, you wash your face and there's this sequence of events you're doing. Nothing new is happening. You do this every single day. You pour yourself cereal. You have your coffee. You then get on the road and you go through the same traffic. You're stuck on the road. You're upset about people cutting you off and you might be late and and then the same boss is pushing your same buttons and you feel you gossip with certain people at work and other people upset you. You didn't get that raise. You didn't get the promotion. Same thoughts every single day. And then you come home and you crack yourself open a drink. And then you just, again, turn your brain off that it was already off because you were, you were basically running through an automatic software system throughout the day, but now it's even more often you're watching TV for two hours before you knock yourself out and you go to sleep again and you do everything else again. So imagine then that, imagine if you watched the same episode of Friends every day and that episode was, let's say, 16 hours long. You know, you go to sleep for eight hours, you're up for 16 hours, and let's say, Friends, there was this one episode of Friends that was 16 hours long and you woke up and you, you played that episode and you watched it for 16 hours and then you went back to sleep. What will your soul do? Your soul is going to tell you, can you wake me up if something new happens? And then I'll just go to sleep. The same chemicals are running through, the same emotions are happening. And your mind body is always connected, right? They're always talking to each other. Every cell in your body is spying on your brain and mind. And because you feel something, but let's start with thinking. You have a thought. A thought goes to the brain, because, uh, the body, because your body's thinking. Your body is uh, spying on your brain. So you have a thought. I hope the traffic is not too bad. I hope. People learn how to drive around here. Jeez, all this stuff. And then your body feels it. And the stress chemicals go on. And then your mind is paying attention to how your body is reacting. So then your mind starts to feel all those stress responses, stress hormones. And then your brain has then subsequent, even further more thoughts related to that emotion now. So brain had a thought, body had an emotion. The emotion goes back to the brain, the brain gets signaled by that particular emotion and then you have similar thoughts. And then when you do get into the car, when you do get into the traffic, 
now your brain and brain is looking for things to validate your stress response it immediately picks up oh that guy why is he so close to my lane does he not care is he going to scratch my beautiful car and all this goes into your body and your body creates even more stress hormones sends sends it back to your head and your brain your your head's like yep we're doing great we're doing great who else is about to piss us off because it's time to get angry it's time to feel bad and then you see something as like someone is doing makeup while driving and you're like ah oh, this irresponsible citizen goes back into your body and your body creates even more responses and there's this loop now now imagine that you're stuck in this loop of traffic and then it switches into your stressful work environment let's say then your mother-in-law showed up unexpectedly and your ex-husband or your ex-wife texted you something or you saw them on Instagram or Facebook that they were having a great time because they were smiling and they were on a beach and you're in your cubicle or or your scrubbing floors or whatever you're doing and it's just this constant motion from one chaotic situation to another chaotic situation because for your body it's very chaotic it lowers your vibration when you feel bad you're lowering vibration if you have disease you're dropping constantly in your vibration you're becoming more matter less energy i don't know if i've said this on this channel i went to i was walking to my mailbox and a strange thing happened and this was after i did three meditations that morning i was just so happy i was feeling so good during the meditations i just didn't want to stop so I went to check my mail afterwards and it's beautiful, perfect weather, sunny and watching palm trees everywhere. And it's just, and all of a sudden I realized that I can feel the ground under me. I can feel my shoes, my feet touching the ground, but I can't feel the weight of the rest of my body. And then I felt like a gust of wind. And for a moment, I was like, am I going to fly away? I felt so light. I couldn't feel the rest of my body. I could just feel my feet. And for those of you who do not meditate, for those of you who don't understand how deep meditations can take you, where you can feel, you can lose the sense of body, lose the sense of matter and your boundaries around your body. And you'll start to feel like you are the room. And then your, your senses get super heightened. And everything you look at feels just a little bit more sharper, a little bit more unique, a little bit more mag uh, magnificent, just magical. And you start to micro fall in love with everything in life. It's just it's a very different experience. Words, words do no justice to the experience of that. So if you were to, for example, go to some monastery, go to some place where you spend a week or two and you're not allowed to talk, nobody's going to talk the whole time you're there, 10 days, let's say. And you're supposed to sit in different spots, different times of the day. And you're supposed to stay there for long periods of time, hours and hours and hours. And then you go for a walk. And when you're doing the walk, you're also meditating. You're not allowed to speak. And you're just observing yourself in the world and you'll have these profound mystical experiences where you get in touch with the real you the 99.999 percent of you because i am blown away that we are always paying attention to the 0.0001 percent of our um life our existence which is this hologram this is all we pay attention to we're empty space. Why do we never sit down and pay attention to that empty space, which is full of frequency? You can feel your aura. You can, you can manipulate your aura. You can fill your aura with love. When you lose space of time, when you lose sense of time and you lose sense of space, all of a sudden you become so much more energy and less matter. All that energy centers, that is just stuck with bad energy, bad feelings, bad emotions, bad trauma, you know? And, and, and you just get your soul used to that 
and your soul sort of just passes out, goes to sleep because it's boring. Could you stand through watching a 16 hour friends episode every day? That's what your body goes through. That's what your brain and body goes through. So you people, most people sleepwalk through life. And when you start to get into these meditative states, when you start to heighten your senses, everybody has probably heard that we are unconscious 95% of the time, we're conscious 5% of the time, 95% of our program is automatic, 5% is conscious, and the conscious is the learning part, 95 is the software part, the subconscious part, the autonomic part, everything happens automatically and everything else is like riding a bicycle and driving. Everybody has heard of the example that sometimes you're driving to a certain destination and you lose track of time and you're all of a sudden at work, you're all of a sudden where you needed to be and you're like, wow, I don't remember driving. Where did the time go? Because we were on autopilot. We're always on autopilot. So when you heighten your senses, you wake up your soul. You start to fall in love with random moments in time. I was driving this morning and I had a doctor's appointment. I wanted to do blood work. And I wanted, I wanted to understand. I'm trying to get an understanding of how my meditations are affecting my blood. Now, when you do deep meditations, it changes the structure of your brain, literally. It changes the structure of your body. Autonomic nervous system starts to make changes in your body. People start to create in their blood anti-cancer molecules. Crazy. Anti-aging molecules. Crazy. And this is just certain examples. IgA or other molecules that just take care of your body against the, um, you know, Foreign entities, bacteria. Honestly speaking, bacteria doesn't make you sick. You make you sick. And when you raise your vibrations again, your body just takes care of it just like that. Wake your soul up. Keep it alive. Keep it excited about life. Fall in love with life. Back to my example, I was driving and I'm just looking around and I'm just so happy. All of a sudden I get this jolt of energy and I'm just letting people into my lanes after you, sir, after you, ma'am. Yeah, go ahead. Enjoy whatever. And, and I'm just in this meditative state. All of a sudden I can feel my, or I can feel my energy and, and I turned on my car's autopilot, not <laughs> my autopilot. So I turned on my car's autopilot because I wanted to just enjoy it. I wanted to observe what was happening inside of me or around me. And both of my hands, I just did this and I just brought it next to my face and I kissed my hand and I just had tears coming down my face. I was like, I can't believe what is happening. What the heck is happening? Are we even supposed to feel this happy? Are we even supposed to feel this much love that our body just doesn't know what to do? Our body starts crying of just this infinite joy that we don't know what to do with. It was insane. It was, I was, I was, I could feel the love radiating out of me. It was insane. All the colors just became more vivid. Everything was just amazing. And when you go to places where neuroscientists are interacting with you, when neuroscientists are interacting with these meditators or advanced students, such as myself uh, in this field, what happens is that they'll attach things to you and they have these, they have these machines that they initially bought from University of St. Petersburg in Russia and solar or something there's a name for it but it measures the uh, it calculates and measures the electromagnetic field changes within the room within the area that you you place those things in and it'll it'll show you how the energy within the room in what wavelength frequency how it's changing and it'll and you can see it and one of the mind mind-blowing things that happened is that there were there were 
a lot of people in the room, right? Hundreds of people in the room or 2000 people in Orlando, let's say. And we all start to meditate and we're raising our energies. And when your aura and you're, ne you're next to people, you're around people, right? And your frequency starts to connect with other people's frequency. And as the aura energies are expanding, as the aura energies are rising, and they're, they're touching each other's energies, the auras, right? What happens is when two frequencies co uh, collide, it amplifies the collective energy. So it doubles, it doubles and triples. It amplifies, it, 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 it multiplies itself. It, it takes certain amounts of energy from the field and it just, it'll raise the whole wave of energy within the room. So just keep, I mean, people that haven't meditated, they're going to be like, what the heck is he even talking about? But just follow along for a second, because I want to tell you how what you do affects practically your past and your future. I know. So it was measuring all the energy within the room. Okay. You were all doing our meditations. We were doing our thing. And then everybody left the room. And we went a quarter mile away and we were doing a walking meditation somewhere else. Okay. Now we were outside by this lake, you know, they blocked off the road for us and we're meditating and we're laying down on the floor. We're doing our walking meditations. It was, it was unbelievable. That one of the, one of the most life changing experience I've ever had. And when you can be in a very deep state of meditation and your eyes are open, and you're watching the world and you're vibrating. You can feel that your body is, you can feel the waves of your body, right? And, and of course you can, because we're always emitting light. Everything in the, uh, everything that's material is always emitting light. You're always emitting uh, light frequency into the universe, into the quantum. What is frequency? Information. You're constantly emitting information and the information you emit into the universe comes right back to you in another way, but similar type. When you're angry, you're asking the universe, hey, can I have some anger, please? Can, can you make, can you give me some suffering? But don't let me know how it's going to come to me. Surprise me with some suffering. Surprise me with some misery when I least expect it. And you, you keep doing that. And you just keep doing that. You just keep doing that. But then when you, but when you, when you raise your energy and you're feeling yourself just vibrating with this crazy amount of love it's so impossible to judge people because the moment you start judging people your energy just drops you can just feel the vibe just goes away and you're like wait a minute i want to be here i like this feeling where did it go and then you just raise your energy again the judgment goes away resentments go away you don't care what people did to you and in certain cases you could be looking at your adversaries and you're just feeling sorry for them because you're like, oh, poor guy, he's suffering. Only if he knew, only if he knew what I know, what I, what I have learned, he, he, his life would get better. And you just want to stay up here, right? And you can't have resentments when, when it's up here because it will kill your vibe immediately. Because, and once you become an advanced meditator, your senses are so heightened that you can feel other people's energies, auras in some cases. You can affect other people's energies too. That's how you heal. You give energy to the person that is sick and you can, you can transfer energy, love energy, full of love, just this beautiful high frequency energy, which will, it cures people's cancers, crazy, autoimmune diseases, Parkinson's, diseases that have no cure in science and you can you, you, and people have done it and they measure it in, in neuroscientists with dr joe dispenses company they'll take they'll take brain scans of brain tumors and metastasized ca cancers that are everywhere in your body and they just disappear stage four cancers gone without chemotherapy without anything nobody touched you But it's just called, it's called coherence healing. 
how does it work? This is how it works. When when they started to do when they started to do um, walk for the world meditations, what happened was that people in 167 countries at the same time, same day, well, same time, depending on where they were, but same time together went out met each other in different cities and places so they could be together. So they don't look like, why is this person wearing blindfolds or why are they walking and crying in public? Because most people don't know this stuff. So they would get together. They would all collectively at the same time raise their energy and they measured it. The team of Dr. Joe Dispenza measured it, that it, it, it raised the electromagnetic field of the planet Earth. That's insanity. I mean, 167 countries in the world at the same time raised their energy and it raised the energy of the collective of humanity. It affects Earth. It affects the entire planet. And the whole planet affects every person that is alive on Earth. And the more people wake up, the more people wake up the, the dead soul in them that is just sleeping because they sleepwalk through life. The more people participate in things like that, and the more the world can raise its collective energy, which will spontaneously not only heal people, it'll make them feel better, it'll make them feel optimistic. It'll start to give them an understanding of what you innately already know, in the reality of who you are. And the reality of who you are is most of you is an empty space. Most of you is just energy frequency. And then when you get to that place where there's no time and no space, which is who you are, you get to start to experience having these mystical experiences, which by the way, wow, it's, you can't talk about it. So you just say a mystical experience. It's just, you can't talk about it. You have to, you have to just get there and experience it for yourself. Too many people are upset these days. Too many people are miserable these days. It doesn't make any sense to me because all I want to do is be up here. And when I'm up here with my high energy, everything just takes care of itself. I used to plan and think and plan and think, and I still do it to a certain degree, but it feels like I'm not doing it. It just sort of happens. And I don't deal with things that, that need to be dealt with until they need to be dealt with. I cannot anticipate a stress before I need to deal with it, right? So if there's something I can do about it, I won't stress. And if there's nothing I can do about it, I won't stress because I can't do anything about it. And then the more you stay up here, the more you can create your ideal self. You start to feel like the future you, the abundant you. You start to feel those things. And the more you do that, you're literally changing your body. You're releasing, you're liberating the stuck energy into your energy centers. And we all have eight energy centers, you know? You start to liberate energy within it. And when you do that, your aura fills up with more energy that can now be used to change your destiny, to change the life into the life you want. Wake your soul up. You're sleepwalking. Don't sleepwalk. Your mood is directly connected to your frequencies. So if you're feeling resentful, angry, pissed off, stressed, scared, you name it. That means you're pulling all the good energy that is available to give you a beautiful experience in life and you're getting it all stuck into your energy centers. You're becoming more matter, less wave, less energy. Your aura shrinks. People can feel that. People will walk next to you and their mood will drop when they touch your aura. If you're resentful and angry and pissed off, hey, 20 years ago, this thing happened to me and that's why I'm resentful. It's not my fault. My father abandoned my mother and my mother did horrible things to me and her mother's bo my mother's boyfriends did things to me and blah, blah. blah. You're not a victim. 
because let's say we shoot all those people that um, that upset you, right, to the moon. You just put them in something, then you just in a rocket, and you send them all to the moon. You still have to deal with what you're going through, right? How do you do that? Liberate your energy. Just let it go. And when you do that, your entire aura starts to expand. It becomes free. It raises then its energies. And then you start to embody who you want to be. You start to feel who you want to be. Your thinking starts to change. And the new thought starts to create new chemicals in your body. So, so imagine this. When you have a thought, immediately your body responds to that thought with happy hormones or sad hormones or autonomic nervous system starts to liberate your energy out of the energy centers. So it harmonizes different layers into your body and better signals start to go to your cells. And so it's your, basically, your thoughts are literally becoming matter in a form of chemicals. And those chemicals then become signals going into your cells. And then the cells harmonize themselves and specific genes turn on and specific genes turn off. There's more than 95% of the genome in our body that is always turned off. So as your body, as you, as your energy, different energy centers harmonize itself with your thoughts, new thoughts, new experiences, right? positive thoughts, love thoughts, everything else. When you start to focus on different energy centers, when you just bring your attention to the energy center, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and then two, one. So as you focus them, you harmonize the energies within your energy centers, right? It, 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 it lets go of certain energies that it doesn't need anymore. And it releases other chemicals that every cell in your body gets. The information of harmony, information of wholeness, information of love with life, information of uh, just just all the beautiful things that you'll feel that I can't describe with words, because they're just so magical. They're so mystical when you when you lose track of your body, when you lose track of the boundaries of your body, and you'll start to feel like oh my god, you'll feel like you are the room. You'll almost have out of body experience. You'll be able to leave your body and look at your body and you'll be like, what is happening? And of course, as soon as that happens, you come back to your body. It's like these weird things are happening and they make you so whole. They make you so happy because you're finding out one step at a time that this is who I am. You are the mystic. You are divine. So become it. And watch how everything around you changes. Because when you change your energy, you change your matter. When you change your thoughts, you change your destiny with your emotions and the new way of life. Wake your soul up. Your soul has probably been sleeping for a long time. Don't let it go to sleep. Until you go to sleep at night. During the day, be a creator. Be a creator. The only way to create your future is to, the only way to determine your, your future, the only way to predict your future is to be the creator and create it. Be your future self. Begin to embody who you're going to be. Who do you want to be admirable of? Who do you want to be impressed by? Become that person and watch how your body changes. Watch how the diseases leave your body. Watch how your energy centers just become so harmonized. You will naturally, randomly, while you're doing things throughout the day, your different energy centers are going to start having orgasms. I don't know what else the word is. I'm just using the word orgasm. Don't think of it, think of it as sexual, sexually, but you'll let, li literally have brain orgasms where you'll just be like, oh, I'm feeling so much love. I don't know what to do. And yeah, you'll do that. It'll make you randomly, it'll like make you cry because you'll feel so much love out of nowhere because the aura now has so much beautiful energy that has been liberated out of this stuck, stupid, resentful, fearful, all this frustrated thoughts 
And now you have all this beautiful energy in your aura that is attracting similar energy from the quantum fields and presenting it to you so that you can start to feel the mystical powers that you are. You are the magician of your life. You are the architect of your life. You are the divine in your life. Right? That's how the gods played the game. They're like, you know what? Why don't we hide the God within them? They're going to be looking for it anywhere, anywhere but within. But when you wake up, when you find out that the divine lives within you, and then you touch it and you feel it once, you'll never want to go back. You're never going to want to judge or be resentful or be fearful of. Because you're going to be, all, the, all you want to be is that. The true you, the 99.999% of you. No more sleepwalking, people. I don't know how this is not on the news everywhere. How is this not an actual emergency? Wake people up. So, reduce the gap between the conscious and subconscious mind. Have new thoughts, have new feelings, maintain high frequency feelings, maintain high energy levels, feel the love for life, feel amazing. Sit down with your body, close your eyes. Play upbeat, beautiful music that will keep you awake, but there's no words in there, right? And just watch your brain, watch your body, watch your thoughts. And you, you don't have to have those boring, typical meditation music. You can have unbelievable, upbeat musics that you want, as long as there's no words. Or as long as it is a... Um, Guided meditation, so once in a while they say, okay, focus on this, think about this, pay attention to the empty space around you, under your face, empty space above your head, put your awareness into them. You know, you can, you can do that, you can find those, obviously you can find them on Dr. Joe Dispenza's website if you want, or other people might have had that. Or you can just sit there and just watch your brain and body just go nuts, you know? You sit for meditation, the music turns on, and you just want to watch. You just want to sit there in the presence just to see what happens. And all of a sudden, your brain goes, Isn't it trash day today? Did we forget to pay that one bill? Wait a minute, wasn't I supposed to return a call? And your brain will do anything, or your body will do anything. Your body will do anything to get you out of there because your body is. The subconscious mind it's not the mind it's the subconscious mind so the subconscious mind is like dude this is supposed to be the time when we are stuck in the traffic and are pissed off i'm getting your body chemically to be pissed off and you're sitting here chilling really no this is not the time to be chilling it's time to be angry because that's what we do Aren't you supposed to be right now calling your best friend and talking crap about your mother-in-law because she said this or that? Or she gave you socks for Christmas, but she wanted a, a flat screen TV or something like that? Isn't it supposed to be that time? We're supposed to be miserable right now. Hello. And you just watch your body and you just tell them to stay. No, we're going to sit here. Is that all you got? We're going to stay here. And every time you bring your awareness back to the present, every time you just calm it down and you pay attention to the empty space and you're just watching with your eyes closed, obviously, and then you're just watching the blackness and you're just paying attention to it, you'll start to feel a little cool coolness around your arms. You'll start to feel things around your body, even though it's just nothing, it's just empty space, but you'll start to feel empty space. So it's a really strange feeling. And as you do that, you're changing your body. You're reprogramming your body. You're reprogramming your subconscious mind. 
everything is going to change from that point forward. Because every time you do that, your brain is changing, literally. Your body is changing, literally. You're turning off and on different genes epigenetically. And you're doing that all with your thoughts. What a magician you must be. Don't you want to know how magnetic you are? Don't you want to know how magical you are? What a wizard you are? Or witch. Witch sounds like a bad word, but a good witch. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Experience it. Damn it. Wake your soul up. And enjoy your day. I love you.